Today, guys, we are going to be talking about one of the easiest off-grid solar power solutions out there. That's right, guys. One of the easiest off-grid solar power solutions is one of these bad boys right here. A solar generator, as some people like to call it, or a portable power station. This right here is the Blue Eddy. It is a 2,000 watt portable power station and has a 2,400 watt battery. Let's check out what came in the box. So of course the big bad boy right here came in the box, but also we got this big brick right here. This is actually for charging the unit off of AC. And then this accessory pack right here came in the box. We've got, ooh, look at that. We've got a nice cable tie holding it all together. That's fancy. This right here is our AC cord. Let's go ahead and check that out here real quick. Yep, look at that, we got it right here, AC cord, plugs right into here. So you can charge the unit from the wall. These are really super cool. This is for charging it off of solar panels, which is really why you've got this thing if you want to have it for an off-grid power solution, right? You want to be able to charge this guy off of solar. These right here are your standard MC4 solar panel connectors. So you can use the panels that come with it right here like this, or you can use your own panels, which I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. This one right here, this is the third cable in there. This guy allows you to charge it from your car, right? So you're like one of the van life people, or you got an RV, or maybe you wanna go camping in the back of your truck, but you need some extra power to run your espresso machine while you're out in the woods. Well, you can charge this while you're driving in your car and then you don't even need the solar panels, right? Every time you get in your car and drive it, it'll charge automatically. This part's awesome. This guy right here, this is what actually plugs into the unit. I'll show you how that works later. And then these guys plug into here like this, right? So now you can plug it into the car or you can plug it into your solar panels just like this and hook your solar panels up to it and charge the device. You also get this little information pack right here. I'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Warranty card information right here. User's manual right here. Several pages. Check it out. How many different languages is it in? Hmm. Well, it's all in English, guys. 14 pages of information about this bad boy. This right here is one of the three solar panels that I got with it. Go ahead, open it up, show you what that looks like. But like I said before, you don't have to use these portable solar panels. You can use like permanently mounted solar panels on your cabin or on your RV or on your van, wherever you want. But you can use big, big solar panels and I'll show you how to do that. But first, let's open this bad boy up here. Hmm, how do you open it up? Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that. That's big. This is 120 watts right here. I've got three of them. So that should be what, 360 watts that we can put into this guy with these portable ones, right? And you can just fold them up somehow. How did I unfold it? There we go. Fold it back up, clip it back together carry it away, right? Stow it away. But look at this right here, right here. Unzip this. And here you've got your power cables. Check this out too, guys, right here. See these guys right here, these grommets? That way you can hang it off of something like a rope in a tree or something or a rope on the side of your RV and uh, hang it up high so it doesn't have to be on the ground. We'll get to how we charge it later and we're gonna answer a really important question and that is can you charge it while you're using it or can you use it while you're charging it that is super important and we're going to test that later but first of all let's go over some of the features that we've got here and and how it all works all right so first of all let's go ahead and turn it on cool little green light cool metal button right here so as we can see here from the factory we come with a 59 percent charge and let's just look at our outlets here these are all of our 120 outlets looks like we've got six of them here yep six outlets for a total of 2000 watts we can pull out of these bad boys then we've got usbs how many we got under here two usb connectors here charging cell phones running security cameras charging batteries all kinds of stuff you use usb plugs for and then we've got a pd60 what's that oh it's a usb c so we can charge our macbook pro with this 
And then we've got a 12 volt, two little 12 volt plugs here. You can run lights, possibly a Wi-Fi router, different things that have this little plug right here on it and uses 12 volts. And then right here, we've got the old type cigarette lighter plug here for 12 volts output. And this is the big bad boy, 12 volt output here. So this right here is a touch screen. And to turn the DC side on right here, we go ahead and hit DC and we turn it on. Now we can use these and here AC, turn the AC on and now we can use these right here. Also, we can look at all of our data. You've got a bunch of different data in here, product info, go back, we've got inverter charger and then we can look at the PV charge and all different types of information. And the touch screen is actually really responsive. Look at that. All right, turn it back off, turn it back off, DC on. Touch screen does not lag at all. It's really fast, really responsive. I like that. One of the really cool features that this guy has, bam, is right here, wireless charging. Sarah? Hi. Drop your phone up there. Is it charging? Oh, look at that. It is charging. Move it off. Stops charging. Move it on. It's charging. What do you think about that? I love it. I didn't even my phone could do wireless charging. I think it's really cool. That is really cool. Because like, if you're in the back of your truck, say, or you're in your van, and you're using this thing as like a coffee table, could that be used as a coffee table? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just set your phone down on there. What happens? It charges. It charges like magic, man. So that's one awesome feature. We'll just leave Sarah's phone up there charging. Let's go ahead and see what we can actually run with this thing. Some of your standard household stuff like charging a laptop. Go ahead, open up our laptop, plug our cord into here, and we'll plug our cord here into the laptop. And it starts charging, right? No problem, charge a laptop off of there. Maybe you've got some cordless tools that you like to use. So let's see, will it charge our cordless tools? Plug that guy in and bam, charging the cordless tools. Let's see, what else you wanna use in your house, right? Or your tiny house or your camper, or your van, whatever it happens to be. How about a microwave? <laughs> you think it's gonna be able to run a microwave? Sarah, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> think so? I bet so. <laughs> Let's find out, huh? I don't know. For reals, I don't know. Oh. It turned on. Oh, here nice. we go. Look at that. It's running the microwave. How many watts are we using over here? Right here. How many watts are we using? 1,651. It runs the microwave, man, just fine. Cook up your little Hungry Man meal or your Mary Stouffer's, whatever it happens to be. Heat it up in the microwave with this guy. No problem. One of the most important things for any off-grid yuppie type person, can you make a cappuccino with it? Here we go. Our cappuccino machine, man. For safety's sake, we are gonna move the laptop out of the way so we don't spill uh, cappuccino on Sarah's laptop. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's get it fixed up and we'll make ourselves an espresso. About that. Sounds wanna, good to me. <laughs> you want a cappuccino, sir? I would love a cappuccino. All right, well, let's see if we can get one going here. We've got our coffee in here. This is actually Julie's Mother's Day present that Sarah got her because she's such a nice daughter. Now we need to get our water. All righty. We've got our water. Look at that. Not even making a mess yet. I really hope this works. This is so cool, man, that you could like, you could make cappuccinos and microwave your vegan whatever it is. You guys know that I'm not, I'm not vegan, right? We use this for the steamed milk, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. This is actually the first cappuccino that I have ever made in my entire life. So if I'm doing it wrong, this isn't about how to make a cappuccino, but how this guy works, right? We'll go ahead and plug it in. Now what we do, sir? Now we'll set it to brew. Brew, set it to brew. All right, then I guess we wait for the water to get hot? Yep. All right, how many watts are we using? 900 watts. Obviously, it should you it should work, right? I mean, we were using how many watts over here with the microwave? Like 1600? 1600 watts. This guy right here is only 900, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we'll see. We'll let it go through its cycle. I can hear it. It's like starting to make a boiling noise. So what do we do? We, I mean, we gotta steam the milk, right? Yes, so once it starts brewing, we'll then turn it- Oh, it's it, going. Oh, okay, turn it to steam. Turn it to steam? <laughs> All right, so we're steaming up some milk here. I'm curious, sir. 
while this is going, what percentage are we at on the screen there? 55%. We're still charging your laptop. We're still charging the DeWalt battery. And my phone. And we're charging your phone. All right, so our foam looks like it's foamed up quite a bit there, our milk. Go ahead and turn it back over to brew. I'm brewing up some espresso. And I know you guys are wondering what kind of coffee we love to drink. Bam, baby. Not sponsored. But we do love Seattle's best, the Post Alley. Is that what you say, Alley? Would you say Alley? Yeah. I'd say Alley too. The Post Alley blend, dark roast. It's delicious stuff. Getting just a little bit off topic, but we brewed this stuff. We might as well make a cup, eh? Sayer here is going to make us up our cappuccinos to drink while we're doing the rest of the review and unboxing stuff here. And I am no expert, so if you have any uh, tips on how to make a good cappuccino, please let us know. <laughs> make a fancy leaf or something on top if you can. Uh, not quite there yet. <laughs> You're not there yet, huh? Well, then you can scoop the foam out on top, huh? Oh, Thanks. look at that, Dan. Not fancy? So fancy. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how an off-grid cappuccino works, man. We need to do a video. How to make cappuccinos off-grid. Here we go. Ooh. If you like cappuccinos, you probably love this. You know cappuccinos. Yeah. I think I, it was a little too strong for me, but I like it. A little too much coffee, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do a little less. I think I will do a video eventually here on how to make cappuccinos off grid. Enough joking around. Let's see what else we can run with this thing. Some real stuff, some tools. Oh, what about the refrigerator? Let's find out. All right, so we unplugged the refrigerator, left the door open a little while to make sure that it would actually turn on and that compressor would start running. So let's go ahead and plug it in here. Think it's going to work? I hope so. Bam. It's working, dude. I heard it. So how many watts are we pulling right now? 161. 161 watts. It's running the refrigerator. No problem at all. Excellent. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, guys, but we need to test this with our miter saw. Can it run the miter saw? Miter saw is plugged in right here. Follow the cord on up. <laughs> Think it's gonna work? I don't know. It totally worked. Why don't you go down, check out the watts as I'm running it, and that way we can see like how much it uses while I cut through the board again. It got up to 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts. Sweet. And so you could power your miter saw if you have to. That is amazing. We're gonna test this guy on something that I think is going to cause it to fail. Like, almost for sure. We're gonna try to run our air compressor off of it. Plug it in. Uh, oh, wow. Oh. Yep, failed. Let's try it again real quick. Here we go. It tries, but it's, it's too much. Too much power for it. Now that is running right now. Perfectly. That was running perfectly off of our big system over here. This is our 3000 watt inverter, Battleborn batteries, charge controllers, and all of that. I have got a whole video explaining this and installing it all if you'd like to see that. But that's not what this video is about. So far, I think we've learned that this thing will power pretty much anything that a normal person would want to run, right? Normal people typically don't run big air compressors like this. They run cappuccino machines, they run refrigerators, they run deep freezers, right? I mean, they run all that household stuff, microwaves and things. But this isn't designed to run big air compressors like that, right? It's designed to run your household stuff and it does a really good job at it. So being able to power all of those things is really cool. But if you can't recharge it, it's basically useless. Right here, we've got three solar panel packages here from Blue Eddy. These are actually 120 watts each. So this whole thing right here should be about 360 watts. We've got them wired up all in series right here. So those series wires right here. So we got two wires then coming out of these three. We're gonna go ahead and connect them up to our wires here, like this. 
We're gonna plug it in, see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead, turn it on. We're at 49% right now. On our settings here, we wanna make sure our DC input source is set to PV. Because we can charge this from the PV, which means your solar panels, or you can charge it by the car. You gotta set which one you're doing. We're doing the solar panels. All right, so let's open this guy up right here. See this? This is gonna plug right in there. Little red dot goes on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Match up the red dots. Here we go. Are we charging? Yeah, look right there. We're charging 306 watts. Charging off of these guys right here. We've got a beautiful sunny day there. Just a few clouds in the sky. In just a few minutes, this cloud right here is gonna be over our sun. Then we'll see how well the panels do with a cloud, right? It's gonna be a dramatic difference. All right, our sun is behind the cloud right now. Let's see what we've got here. 42 watts, 40, 38 watts. So we went from what, 300 watts, 300 plus watts, down to 30 or 40 watts. You gotta have sun, man. Cloudy days, no good. Let's go ahead and we'll go test it on our big panels and see if we can't get the full 700 watts. Brought the solar generator over here behind our main solar panels. We've got it hooked up to these two panels right here. These are actually 365 watt panels each. They're wired in series. So positive comes out of this one, goes into the negative of this one. Negative this one, cruises down this way, and the positive of this one cruises down this way. Down these wires, right into the solar generator. Now, take a look at the sun here. It's behind the clouds again. Last time we were producing what? Oh, just a few, what, 30 or 40 watts? Now we're doing 110 watts. So the size of your solar panels should obviously make a big difference, right? So what we're gonna do here is wait for the sun to come out again. It's looking like it's gonna pop out once that gets right up there. Hopefully, we'll get full sun here in just a minute. We'll be making, hopefully, 700 watts, right? These are 365 each, so that's slightly over 700 watts of potential power. We're just waiting for the sun. Come on, baby. We've got full sun right now, no real blockage. 600 watts. All right, so why isn't that the full 700 watts, right? When these things are rated for that, because of the angle of the sun. See, we do have full sun on here, but the sun is at a, it's at an angle. It's already starting to get further over into the afternoon. So we're losing some of that energy because it's not directly right on the panels. 600 watts though, it's pretty good, isn't it? So this solar generator is 2,400 watt hours, right? So it would take, in full sun with 600 watts, it would take four, four hours to charge that thing, right? 600 times four is 2,400. So I think the obvious question is, what do you do when you have cloudy days and you can't actually charge your unit. Check it out, man. You charge it with your trusty generator here. Let's see if it'll work. This right here is the charger for the unit. Go ahead and plug it in right here. Plug this guy in right here. All right, I guess it should be charging, let's see. Yep, there we go. 450 watts, nice. So 450 watts, it's gonna take it five and a half hours to charge that all the way from zero all the way up to 100%, right? Because 2400 divided by 450 is about five and a half. Super simple charging setup. Now, what about all of you guys that want to use this in your RV or in your van or in the back of your truck going camping? Let's see how fast it will charge off of the car. Maybe you saw all that dirt up there. Yeah, that's because, well, I was using it as a stepping stool. It's pretty sturdy. Check it out. This thing is sturdy all right we got it plugged in right here Whew. coming down into the unit and we're charging 97 watts so 97 watts right i mean that's going to take a while to charge this thing that's going to be like 24 hours to charge this from zero to all the way charged but if you think about it man when you're overlanding you are spending a lot of time driving your car anyway so you should be keeping it pretty well charged up all the time plus when you're parked Put some solar panels up on the roof. You having things, man. If you are looking for an easy off-grid solar power solution that you don't even have to think about, just works, guys, definitely go ahead and check this out. There is a link down in the description of the video where you can check out other reviews of it. Also check out the current price. So go ahead, check out that link down in the description. And I got this video right here for you to go ahead and watch next. Go ahead, click this video, and I'll see you over there in just a second.